today is Memorial Day. Um, we normally are very busy on Labor Day weekend when people come here from all over the country and the world to work on themselves. Now I will work on myself. I have a few minutes, so I will do that. When I go down, I go uh, down with the stairs, but when I go up, I like to walk up backwards. Because when I walk up backwards, I'm starting to use muscles I normally don't use. Oh, those are dusty chairs. But they're for a reason, because people climb up the trampoline going on those chairs. Before I do, I'll work a bit on my eyes. There's two colors here. And I look at the distance and my two eyes are seeing the two colors, which helps me to look with both eyes and not only with one. Now, I'll climb up the chair, and it's such a great, great freeing feeling to bounce on a trampoline and to feel that the trampoline pushes me back. I can put the glasses on, and catch a, catch a ball that goes up in the air and comes back to me. Working on my eyes, I can also work on my body. So, for example, I can bounce on the buttocks, turn around, bounce on the knees, around and work nicely to exhilarate myself and to relax and that is so nice to be able to do in my mid 60s Hello everyone, this is Meir. I'm talking to you with staff at the School for Self-Healing. There's a nice video on YouTube that shows you exactly how I drive. And the big thing about that is that when my vision was very limited, I learned how to move in the world in spite of limited vision, feel my way around. Now that I have 70% vision instead of 1%, I still learn how to work with the limited vision that I have and make the best out of it. So I'm so proud that yesterday I drove the freeway to San Anselmo to work with one of my most favorite clients. I put her in a pool, got her to walk upstairs, and I was able to prevent her from going to a nursing home for the last seven years. Because when she fell seven years ago, her daughter wanted to put her there. And now she is not in a nursing home and she's mobile to a great extent, in spite of being in a wheelchair. We learn the secret of her mobility. When we put her in cold water, in her specific disease, which is multiple sclerosis, her mobility increases, and then we use that to create the proper muscle activity and muscle strain that strengthens her body and helps her to survive the limitation that she has. For my limitation, I was happy to drive there and drive back. What a sense of freedom that I never had in my childhood. I'll never forget how I was riding bicycle in a later time, falling into holes, into ditches. I also remember how, when my vision improved, I was riding bicycle with groceries that would always fall and good Samaritans would help me. And so now I can drive a car and can do things freer. But Saturday was even better. I drove all the way south to a town called Mountain View to teach in East-West Bookshop. And while, while my own limitation uh, got me to only drive a specific freeway that I know and drive it very well, 
and I did not want to change many, many freeways, I felt so capable just doing that. And I drove farther in my life, but lately that's how much I drove. And there I worked with four people who were from the ages of 62 to 89. Those four women, each one of them had dif her, her difficulty. The one I want to talk about is the one who was 89. She wasn't on the floor for the last eight years. She didn't dare get into the floor because her knee hurts her too much. With my encouragement, with my help, and with the help of a very thick pillow, we could get her down to the floor as one of our exercises and activity was to lie on yoga mats and do many wonderful exercises for the back and for the legs. She started to be more aware of many positions with the body that she forgot about because she couldn't get to the floor before. And everybody else started to be aware of how much they can loosen up the body. And then she was surprised that with a little bit of help of mine, she could get off the floor. And the sense of relief, the sense of new ability made a difference. We all want to be more able and more capable. And so it's so important for me to work with everyone, including myself, because I only teach you what I need to learn myself to a deep extent. It's so good for all of us to know how to work on ourselves in the deepest possible way. For the lady who was afraid to lose her vision was able to see well. For the lady that a very great illness caused her to be mobile and was afraid to come for the three hours of workshop, start to be mobile with no expense for the body to be mobile. And the lady who had a hip replacement and poor ankle mobility felt more mobile and more confident. That's how people always feel in my classes. Capable. Now is the work of the people to change life. So let me give you a few simple exercises. Stand up and feel the balance of your body. Feel the balance of your feet. Then take a tennis ball and roll it under one foot from the toe to the heel and from the heel to the toe, from the middle toes to the heel and middle and uh, heel to the middle toes, from the little toe to the heel and heel to little toe. Then from side to side, underneath the toes, in the middle of the foot and on the heel. If you don't have a tennis ball currently, take any small ball that you can have and do that. Now, feel the difference between your two feet. Do exactly the same thing on the other foot. Big toe to heel and heel to big toe. Feel all the pain you don't want to feel. Middle of the foot to the heel, heel to the middle of the foot. Little toe to the foot, heel to the little toe. From side to side underneath your toes, side to side in the middle of the foot, side to side in your heel. And look how easier it is for you to stand on your two feet. Whenever I cross the world, I always take two tennis balls with me. The other passengers know because it rolls down the aisle often. But nevertheless, the ball softens my feet. And then I put the balls on my back and loosen it up. For that, I want to show it to you in person because there's a way to do it that is not dangerous. Make sure that you don't ever have a ball on your vertebrae or your bones, but you have it on your muscles. And not too often, only twice a week, but loosen up the connective tissue. While on the feet, you can do it two or three times a day and loosen up your whole body. So it's so nice to see the difference between person to person. It's so nice to help the infants 
And it's so nice to help people in the 80s and 90s. Because everyone can move forwards. Everyone can breathe deeper. Everyone can be looser. And that's a big message. Not everybody can hear it. But there are practical ways to move forwards. And that's what I teach in my trainings. And that's what I teach in my workshops. And that's what gives me a sense that this art of helping the body is so powerful. Many blessings to all of you. Mayer.